How's that? <laughs> Hey, I'm Danny Helen and I'm with Maverick Agriculture and today we're out here in Ramsey County and we're going to be spraying some invasive species. So here I have Justin with Ramsey County and he's going to explain a little bit about what we're doing today. Yeah, so we have a Phragmite spot right across behind us here. The dark green grass, it's non-native, it's highly invasive and invades uh, backwaters of the Mississippi especially, which we're at here, but any wetland and uh, just takes over and becomes the monoculture. Yep, and we're going to be using the Agrass C40 today to spray it. Um, so how would you normally spray this without a drone? So either backpacks or one gallon sprayers and just walking out there with waders and getting stuck and, and having a good old time just struggling the whole day. <laughs> yeah, so normally this is pretty wet all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, Phragmites grows in areas it's like it likes its feet wet, so it's a lot of shorelines, a lot of wetlands, um, even out into open water a little bit depending on how, uh, how up the water level is. And how long would it take you to spray this area? Oh, easy, about two hours by the time we yeah, refill and, and do everything, uh, get prep and get out there and refill a couple times. Yeah, two hours. All right, so let's see how much time it can take with the drone. MSO. walk forward if you want. Yeah. With two it would be like, oh gosh, but... <laughs> up to your shoulders that's what you because then we have to get into it and then kind of put your shoulder into it and then spray it and then kind of move and then lean into it this way and spray it yeah and do you get a lot of the spray on you then do you have to wear like pretty heavy protective no equipment? i mean generally we play the wind and then that's why with stuff like this we'll if the wind's kind of coming from at us today we'd go to that far side and then we just put our backs into it and just kind of spray as you oh, go back. Okay. <laughs> and then you know where your swath is between the blue dye and then the big mat of stuff that you left. And then when you come out, we either, if the wind isn't too bad, we can just typewriter back and forth or go back to the front and then work our way back again. Awesome. Tablet size, I have it as just like a medium. Holy cow, you can adjust that right on there. Yep, ex yeah, it's super cool. And you can go from basically 50 to 500 yep. microns, macrons. Right. Yep. You can customize where you want the start point to be, which I'm fine with it being right here. Yeah. This is my return to home speed. Yeah. So I can make that a little faster. Find it nearby each other. Stand back at a safe distance. Show starting, Lonnie. Watch it as it's fine. Completed area, the distance away from like me. So yeah, that was just a button I clicked to have it turn around. Uh, about 23 feet over, so then the swath overlaps a little bit. sprayed um, and then how much land it covered means if something's not going right um, so how it tells how much is in it is by weight sensors so we just got done spraying and we did about two acres and it probably took us um, a little over 15 minutes or so um, so I don't know if you just want to say kind of what your thoughts were about seeing the drone out here yeah you could really see the value because we even found that extra spot over here and you were able to adjust really quick where even us just going out and scouting that spot took 
probably five minutes to get out there and get through the brambles and now we're all covered in burdocks and so yeah you could really see how you could make some progress real fast with it. Well yeah I appreciate you letting us come out here and and flying with the drone and hopefully we can uh, do some more later. Yeah thank you for coming out. <laughs> <laughs>